Hello, and welcome once again. This would be the part two of our lecture series on problem solving samples involving filters. So we were finished with a few samples last time, which involve finding the cutoff frequencies or critical frequencies in low pass and high pass filters. We also had an example of the effect of frequency on an output voltage given a set of values for resistors and capacitors. So we will be continuing with another example for high pass filters and then we'll finish the topic with an example for finding or designing a circuit or finding the values for a circuit design involved in both band pass and band stop filters. So we'll begin with the sample problem again for a high pass filter. So it reads that uh, we're trying to find or calculate a cutoff frequency, F sub C, for a simple passive high pass filter consisting of an 82 picofarad capacitor connected in series with a 240 kilo ohm resistor. So as from the previous examples, we are again trying to find a uh, cutoff frequency. So from our previous example, F sub C, or the cutoff frequency, would be equal to 1 over 2 pi R and C. Okay. So that is true for both low pass and high pass filters. Going back to the problem, we were given a value for the capacitance which is 82 picofarad. And for the resistance, there was a given value of 240 kilo ohms. let me delete the space I'm so used to putting in a uh, space bar it uh, mat magic light automatically puts it in I forgot resistance which is 240 kilo ohms 240 uh, no 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 okay kilo ohms for the resistance so it's just a matter of plugging in the values so we have the one over 2 pi RC will change R or will substitute R with the 240 kilo ohms and then we're going to put in the value or substitute the value for the capacitance which is which was 82 picofarads then let's try computing for or calculating the answer as always I'll, I'll start with the one at the bottom the denominator then find the reciprocal again please uh, be careful with your syntax depending on the calculator you're using uh, let me go ahead and multiply and compute the answer so shift pi multiplied by the quantity 240 kilo ohms k is exponent 3 multiplied by 82 picofarads is 82 exponent pico is negative 12 okay. let's find the answer and then find the reciprocal so it is 8087.14 so again we have to ex uh, we have to get used to expressing our answers in engineering notation we press eng and we get 8.09 so kilo because this is frequency this is kilohertz okay now let's take a look at band pass and band stop filters in order to create band pass and band stop filters, you actually just combine a low pass with a high pass filter and you carefully design their cutoff frequencies. So because it is a combination of low pass and high pass filters, you actually have two critical or cutoff frequencies. Okay. 
So the only difference is the band pass on allows a specific band of frequencies to pass through. The band stop filter, also known as the notch filter, is the complete opposite. Okay. So with that being said, if you're going to or if you're going to compute or calculate cutoff frequencies, you have to do it twice. One for the lower cutoff and one for the upper cutoff. Unlike with high pass and low pass filters. Okay. Now for a band pass filter. Um, we have the FH and FL representing the higher or the upper frequency or cutoff frequency and the lower cutoff frequency. In this specific example, it's called high pass frequency and low pass frequency. Okay. It is also possible to actually get the, the required capacitance given the frequency and the resistance. You could also determine the resistance given the uh, capacitance. Okay, you just have to do a bit of algebra. And I'm assuming that you know how to uh, do algebra. Another thing that we could or that we need to compute would be the uh, center frequency, okay? which is. Uh, computed by multiplying the lower and upper cut of frequencies, then finding the square root. So the center frequency, as the name suggests, is the frequency of the middle of the two cut off frequencies. Okay. So as usual, the CNR represents the capacitance and resistance. Again, we will be having two sets of capacitance and resistances because it involves both low pass and high pass filter. So let's have an example here for a band pass filter circuit. So we are to design a basic wide band RC Oh no, this is for a band stop. Uh let's go here. Yeah, here we go. We are to determine or get a second order bandpass filter to be constructed using RC and components. Of course, it's low pass and high pass filters, so it would include RC components. It was mentioned that the range of frequencies to be allowed should be in between 1 kilohertz and 30 kilohertz. So above 1K and below 30K. Assuming that both of the resistors have values of 10 kilo ohms, so meaning both R1 and R2 for the low pass and high pass filters have are both 10 kilo ohms, we are to compute the values of the two capacitors required. So we are also to find the center frequencies for the two frequencies involved. This is a bit different from our previous examples because the previous examples we were trying to find the cutoff frequencies. So this time it has been reversed. We are given the cutoff frequencies and we are to find capacitance. It is also entirely possible that the problem would ask us to find the resistance given the capacitance and the cutoff frequencies. This type of problems is not just for band pass or band stop filters but it is entirely possible to have this type of problem for high pass and low pass filters as well. So let's get on trying to find the values of the two capacitors required. Going back to our previous examples, okay, so we just have to remember that we're trying to find uh, capacitance. So let's name this as sub 1 okay. and this would be our F F sub L which denotes the lower frequency and then we could copy this find uh, C sub 2 which would denote the 
uh, high pass frequency or the upper cut off frequency okay. now it was mentioned oh I made a boo boo C should not be here but instead of C it should have been R okay. the resistance for both the low pass and high pass filters are equal so that would mean I don't let me just put in the value it means 10 kilo ohms okay. and we also have the uh, upper and the lower frequencies the lower frequency is stated as 1 kilohertz and the upper frequency is stated at 30 kilohertz okay. so let me let us uh, calculate the required capacitance so as always we just substitute the values from the given and then it's just a matter of uh, carefully calculating the result the resistance is 10k So, oops, the resistance is kilo ohms. Why did I get the kilohertz here? Hmm. Funny. Oops, doesn't allow me to edit, only to add. Okay. So, uh, as always, I'll be computing the denominator first. 2 multiplied by shift pi times 1 kilohertz that's exponent 3 multiplied by 10 kilo ohms again that's also exponent 3 so we get this and then we get the reciprocal which is 1.59 raised to 8 or times 10 to the negative 8 we need to uh, put this in terms of engineering notation so we get 15.92 nano Farad. Is it nano? Yeah, it is 15.92 nanofarad. Then, same for the second capacitor, but instead of having 1 kilohertz, we put in 30 kilohertz. Okay. So... Let me just change this. So we still have the 1 kilohertz here. Oops. Wrong. This is the one that I should be editing. This would now be 30 kilohertz. Okay. Then we find the reciprocal we get 5.31 exponent negative 10 again engineering notation 530.52 picofarads and 52 picofarads okay now let's look at the problem. I think they're also trying to find the center frequencies for the two frequencies. Now find, finding the center frequency, that would be F sub R, if I'm not mistaken, is equal to the square root, nope, 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 nope. The square root of F 
FL multiplied by FH. Okay. Let's not use the X. It looks like a variable. Let me just use parentheses instead. Okay. So we already have the uh, lower and lower cutoff and upper cutoff. Again, we just need to substitute. So lower cutoff would be 15.92 nanofarad. And then the higher or upper cutoff frequencies. Wait, why am I copying the capacitances? Silly me. It should have been it was given all along to begin with. It's one kilohertz. Multiplied by thirty kilohertz. Silly me. There we go. And then let's calculate it. One exponent three. Forgot again the open and close parentheses. Thirty exponent three. Okay. Then square root of the answer. So it would be 5.48 kilohertz. Yeah, okay. 5.48 kilohertz. Mm -hmm. There we have it for the example for the bandpass filters. The bandstop filters is almost the same. It has to cut the frequencies, but the cut of frequencies actually uh, determine which range of frequencies it would stop unlike with the bandpass filters but technically it's the same we still have the upper and lower frequencies but instead of changing the capacitance we change the resistance unlike with a band stop but that shouldn't be a problem the center frequency formula is still the same same as the bandpass bandwidth is just a higher or the upper frequency subtracted by the lower frequency. We can also compute the bandwidth for the bandpass filters using the same formula. As this is not really different from a bandpass filter, we'll just go directly to the example problem. So in this sample problem, we are again to find or determine the value not of the cut of frequencies but one of the passive devices in the circuit and uh, this time it's not the capacitor but the resistor so we are to design a basic wideband rc band stop filter with a lower cutoff frequency of 200 hertz and a higher or upper cutoff frequency of 800 hertz so it's 200 to 800 hertz now we are to find the value of the resistor of both frequencies its center frequency bandwidth and q or what we call the quotient point or operating point. The Q point is used for many different uh, electronic circuits formulas. You might have remembered that Q point was first introduced or you heard Q point first in DC load line analysis for the transistors okay? to find what we call the operating point. Now, in this time around, the Q point, we could also, uh, we're trying to find a Q point for a bandpass filter or the operating point. This time around, the capacitor is given both 0 0.0 or 0 0.1 microfarad, and we are to find the resistance. But how do we find the Q point? The Q point is the F sub R or the center frequency divided by the bandwidth. So once we determine the resonant frequency and the bandwidth, we will be able to determine 
the operating point. Okay, so let's go back to our example. So let's just uh, delete these for now. So this time around, we're trying to find R1 and R2, RL or RH, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the given is the capacitance, which was constant. Okay. The lower frequency and higher or high band frequency was given as 200 and 800 hertz respectively 200 hertz and 800 hertz oh mm -hmm. and uh, capacitance is given as 0 0.1 microfarad So let's try finding R1. It's almost the same as the one a while ago. It's just that the resistances and capacitance were uh, interchanged. But more or less, the solution is still the same. So you just have to substitute the given values. For the lower cutoff or frequency, we have 200 hertz. And for the capacitor, we have the we have 0.1 microfarad. So let's try calculating or getting the answer. So 2 times pi times 200 hertz multiplied by 0.1 micro is negative 6. Okay. Then we find the reciprocal. We get 7,957, converted to engineering notation, 7.96 kilo ohms. Okay. Same with our R2, but instead of using 200 hertz, we would be needing 8, or we will be using 800 hertz. Let's just reuse the formula a while ago. So instead of 200, the only thing that changed was the 800. You get this, then we get the reciprocal. Again, I'm doing this because I am computing the denominator first. Uh, you may compute this directly. It, your technique is entirely up to you. I'm just more comfortable uh, using this or doing this sty uh, style. Uh huh. Okay. So we get the reciprocal, and we get one thousand nine hundred eighty nine point four three six ohms. Convert to engineering notation, we get one point ninety nine kilo ohms, or almost two k. Okay. So we now have the required capacitor eight kilo ohms and 2 kilo ohms, 7.96 and 1.99. Next, we are to get the center frequency, so which would be the square root of 200, or square root of the product of 200 and 800, which is, again, the upper and lower or upper frequency the lower and the upper frequency so 200 Hertz multiplied by 800 Hertz we have this 160 K then we get the square root of the answer we got 400 so the center frequency would be or is 400 Hertz 
Now, we determine the bandwidth. Bandwidth is actually quite simple. We just find the difference between the upper and the lower frequencies. It's actually the range of frequencies that the band stop filter is blocking. If it's a band pass, it's the bandwidth would be the range of frequencies the, fil the filter is allowing. So, okay, let me get rid of this spacebar again. Space. So bandwidth will be um, F sub H. minus or subtracted by the lower cut of frequency so that will be 800 hertz subtracted by 200 hertz and of course that would be equal to 600 hertz now that we have both the bandwidth and the center frequency we will now be able to get the Q point or the operating point. As mentioned, the Q point is equal to the center frequency divided by the, ba the bandwidth. And why is it there? Why is it low? Let me... So we have the uh, bandwidth and we have the center frequency. There you go. I guess the copying and pasting made it a little wonky. So let's now substitute the values that we have. The resonant frequency, no, not resonant, the center frequency is 400 divided by 600 hertz. Okay, I think it bit. Uh, it made it wonky again, so I guess we should stop doing the copying and pasting. It's happening. Okay. Let me like that 400 divided by 600 this the software is not allowing me to be lazy so that would be 0.67 if I'm not mistaken so 400 divided by 600 maybe two-thirds or 0.6 no why is it Four hundred divided by six hundred. Why are you giving me an approximate answer? Hmm. Ah, there we go. So it's zero point sixty seven. Okay. So that is how we get the operating point. The resonant free ah, the center frequency divided by the bandwidth. Okay, and that ends uh, my sample problem part two for computations or calculations involving filters. Hopefully, you learn a lot from this sample problems, and don't hesitate to comment if you have any questions with regards to the solution if you find any errors as I might have been a bit careless while doing this thank you very much and see you again next time bye